What do you think is the biggest secret being kept from mankind? When I was younger. I read a story in the news of a company that had come up with a bacteria that they would put into your mouth. This bacteria was harmless to people. But ate the bacteria that damages our teeth. It would have destroyed the dental industry. For some reason. I never saw it again. They were also coming out with a vaccine. That makes your antibodies bind to nicotine making them too large to enter the brain. This would have destroyed the tobacco industry. I haven't heard anything about this in a decade. That there are people in the world that are richer than the known richest people in the world. If you are that rich. You can afford to be anonymous. 2. I'm not saying that Jeff Bezos isn't rich. I'm sure he is. I just believe that there are a tiny group of people that have more wealth than Bezos. And that they've used that wealth to hide the fact that they are that wealthy from the world. The location of all these hot singles in my area. True history. I genuinely believe that there have been things discovered in the past that tell a different story of the past and are intentionally hidden. History is written by winners. Edit. Guys this is a quote. I don't mean it as an absolute truth and was most likely referred to past history not modern history I quim. When I wrote this I was thinking about a Roman war or something like that. Where the enemies are dead so the only ones who could narrate the story are who didn't die, the winners. That most conspiracy theories are actually the conspiracy in of itself. That certain parties are creating crazy conspiracies to confuse the masses between reality and fiction to make them more easily controlled manipulated. My mother is a corona denier and these chat groups that she's in only spread lies, I mean only literally here. Because she has not told me a single thing yet which can't be instantly debunked. It would kinda make sense if they only said that masks might be unhealthy because they don't know better or that the pandemic isn't as bad as it is shown in the news. But why are they saying things like that three children already died by suffocation because of the mask? The worst was when there was a big demonstration in Berlin. Where they wanted to overthrow the government. Apparently there were one. Three million participants including Trump and Putin and the German government were seeing driving to the airport to escape. None of these things were true obviously. The conspiracy theory here is that Russia is spreading these lies to weaken western democracies. How much wealth is making major political decisions rather than democracy? Either that or how much the planet is already fked from climate change. The government doesn't actually care about your grandmother's secret cherry pie recipe. That with all of the alliances between nations. The trade deals. Economic policies. Mission statements. Enmities. Backroom dealings. Spy networks. Wars etc. The powerful don't have the amount of control or vision that we like to believe that they have. The big secret is that it's all a lie. The only thing holding civilization together is that the vast majority of people think that even though the powerful are corrupt. They are at least competent to hold civilization together. They are not. 2020 is just a taste of that reality. The rich buying art to avoid taxes. It's amazing how much nonsense rich folks get away with just because the details are boring. When my accounting classes got around to the calculations for speculative derivatives and hedge fund managing. I was rather astounded. Because it was just gambling with fancier math. It's just betting on the yen to rise in comparison to the euro or whatever. But the math is so convoluted that it's treated like investing instead of gambling. Where did Cotton Eye Joe come from? And where did he go? Top 10 question scientists still can't answer. The term Cotton Eye Joe refers to an average Joe that works in a coal mine. When he returns to the sunlight the coal covers his clothes and body except for his eyes which seem bright white in comparison to the rest of his body. As such Cotton Eye Joe went home to take a shower and he came from the coal mines. That if Jesus did exist. The church would not accept any actual second coming of the messiah because they'd then lose their power. I finally realized just the other day after 30 years of being a Christian. That when the persecution comes to the church. It won't be from the atheists or the liberals. It will be from other so called Christians. The next possible earth ending force.
there's a very strong possibility that NASA and the space industry know what it is and when it will happen but won't inform the general public until it passes altogether or if there is absolute certainty it will occur minutes before it happens. It is because there would be literally nothing we could do about it and they would not want to cause major havoc in our last minutes alive. Not so much a secret but I think there are events that happened in the past we'll never know about that would blow our minds. Same thing for people who were interesting. Incredible. Unique. Super talented. ETC that were never documented. Recording history has always been shoddy at best. Esp the further back you go. I bet even if we went back 150 years there would be things that occurred that would be historically incredible but since they weren't recorded we'll never know about them. Undertaker deliberately threw mankind off hell in a cell and the whole scene was pre-planned by the WWF organizers. Mankind was not told about it. There's no doubt this one was planned. Foley has even gone on record about it. What was not planned was Undertaker's throwing him through the cell. At that point you can see Taker freeze. Worried he may have accidentally killed Foley. The only person who wrote about Atlantis was Plato. And he was using it as an analogy. We know that ancient civilization got reset with the Bronze Age collapse. It's not a secret from mankind at all. Eventually societies began to rebuild themselves. It wasn't out of nowhere so much as writing was scarce for a few centuries so there are gaps in the written record. There is no evidence at all of a global civilization. Archaeology has it all fairly mapped out at this point. 2020 really is the series finale. May just be the pilot episode of a much more dramatic series. We still haven't properly covered climate change. Antibiotic resistance. Collapse of classic capitalism are and we are still in this generation's first global pandemic. Growing populations. Larger wealth divides. Lot of power of the people. Growing demand for useless shit around the world can almost guarantee more action-packed pandemics coming to a screen near you. The biggest secret being I know of is probably that fat bastard who sneaks into my house at night and takes credit for all of the gifts I'd gotten for everyone. Not really secrets. But. We will never solve climate change. Not for lack of technology. Simply because humans are unlikely to adopt a new way of doing things in time to stop it. Every major company in the world is deep in debt and their infrastructures are flawed. Which means. If you pull back the curtains far enough. You realize they are all being held together with duct tape and bubble gum. The greatest unknown. That the overarching supposition of TV news saw that the natural state of things is to go well and will do so if the corrupt and and the stupid are continually exposed saw is the greatest falsehood ever. And that it persists only because the corrupt and stupid make obscene amounts of money by perpetrating belief in it. The ability of TV news to censor all sustained. Deep analysis of its effects on society is the greatest existential threat to liberal democracy. Read Virginia Postal's works. We've already made alien contact and they want nothing to do with us. To say it isn't possible to travel incredible distances based on the physics we've currently discovered. Is like a man telling his friend 2000 years ago that a cell phone is impossible because their scientists have no proof that it is. For all we know they could be millions of years more advanced than us. At that point it would be like waving your hand above an ant and them not noticing you. We're talking billions of galaxies. Then bring in the possibility of multiple universes. And we're the only advanced ones? It takes a real puny brain to think that way. Aliens. And wealthy elite secret society that control the world and good it for financial and personal ideological gain. But if this is true and there are people at the top then it's not for financial gain. If they were that elite. Money and finance no longer exists for them. They can have whatever they want whenever they want. There's no point having a bunch of paper sitting there if you're already the top of the world. It's just so they can keep us working and producing electricity. Food and ideas that fuel their lavish lifestyle. So not so much financial gain at that point. But just simply the ability to live their 100 years in opulence. People that are secretly alive. But dead for the public life and vice versa. I like to believe Kim Jong-un is already dead. 
The person posing for the pictures after his surgery is a doppelganger set up by his evil sister. Kim Yo Jong. Who's always been the real mastermind. That we are actually not real. But in a simulation. So. We actually can't prove that we aren't. This is a valid philosophical theory. Our computers are advanced enough to run simulations. Things got weird enough back in 2012 that I think whoever is running our simulation went off to school and their siblings are playing with it. Perverts and psychopaths run the world. That coexistence of multiple realms once called magic that we've turned away from and forgotten about. The biggest thing being kept from mankind is the truth. Division among the mass has made us blind. They pit us against each other. Red and blue. White and colored. Rich and poor. Government and we the people. They can lock down our body but they can lock down our minds. Nothing. I doubt if any government, for example, is competent enough to get away with it. This. Trump tweeted pictures taken by spy satellites. Location of navy ships. Etc. If there was a big conspiracy hidden for the public. He would have spoke about it already. I am a anti-conspiracy theorist. I believe there is no higher power that control everything. Neither that everything is their plan. On the contrary I believe that nobody has a king idea of what they are doing. Nobody has really power. Nobody can really control anything. Everybody feels that the world is led by somebody something else. Everybody do their best to change things, maybe also for their interest. But they feels that everything is bigger than them to really be in full control. They only manage to make small meaningless changes in their limited area of influence. Which they feel is too small to fully meet their goals. No matter if you are the CEO of a small company. Bill Gates. A rich sultan. A king or a small mayor. This is true at any level of the society and of the world. Almost everybody feels to be an imposter at their place. They are all right. We are a beehive without queen bee. A ship without captain. A train without machinist. At the higher level somebody must have understood this. But they are far from telling everybody. That nothing matters. You are a speck of dust in the universe. Nothing you do matters. We are all walking piles of goop held together by bones and flesh. People make up governments and religion so that we don't stray our entire lives feeling hopeless. And X200B. Sweet dreams. You beautiful pieces of nothing. Climate change is much. Much. Much worse than they are letting on and are slowly changing predictions to ease us into how awful it's going to be. Also aliens. Humans accelerated YA too quickly in the 1900s for aliens not to be involved. Actually technology is being suppressed due to capitalism. It is much more profitable for businesses to suppress new technology so that their owners keep making bank. With Exxon Mobil being a prime example. Had aliens been involved, we would already be colonizing other planets by the 1970s. What meatloaf wouldn't do for love. That is explained in the song as released in physical media. But as edited from the song when played on the radio, to make the song shorter. Here is what he won't do for love. Double quote. Lorraine Crosby. I know the territory. I've been around. It'll all turn to dust and we'll all fall down. Sooner or later you'll be screwing around. Double quote. Meatloaf. I won't do that. No. I won't do that. Anything for love. But I won't do that. Stevie Wonder can see. The earth is indeed not flat. No one is keeping this a secret. It's being shouted from the rooftops. We have many resources to make the world a better place. Clean energy. Affordable housing and food. ETC. But we don't because capitalists want stonks. 3D printers existed in the 20th century, I don't know from when exactly and I'm too lazy to research it, but it wasn't available to anyone because it was trademarked. Battery cars were also a thing back then but wasn't manufactured because of capitalists. See-through solar panels exist from before 2014 but again no one uses it. If rich people donated the same amount of money they did to rebuild Notre Dame, 
We could clean the oceans. I could go all day with this. Well you see. If I smoke a FCK ton of pot and sometimes DMT and watch ancient aliens I become convinced that aliens are actually Bigfoot and that JFK actually had SX with a Martian Marilyn Monroe robot and divulge all our country's biggest secrets to her and that's why we had to get to the moon so desperately because the moon's actually where crack is born. Everything is an endless cycle. Civilization has existed on the planet before. Died out and been born again. Probably a few times. This is the ultimate nature of the universe itself. It beats out, expands, then breaths in, implodes, then breaths out again. Probably improving on itself little by little with every new breath. Clean cars and better battery can be made but manufacturers refuse to do it because it means less money for them. That anti-mask propaganda is supported by China and Russia to make Americans weaker. Yes. But at the same time. It's America's fault for breeding ignorance to such a level that foreign entities could take advantage of it so easily. This is the price that America will pay for subverting the education of its masses. And for glorifying ignorance. What made the population easy to control by internal entities. Also made them easy to control by foreign entities. That bacteria the scientists created that eats plastic in the ocean. Why isn't anyone talking about it anymore? A free roaming plastic eating bacteria would end our civilization. Most medical food packaging depends on plastic not degrading. That we do not know it all and that we will never know it all. Mankind only knows what mankind has been designed to know. Just like the human eye can only see what the human eye is capable of seeing. The eye cannot see what a telescope can see and it never will. You guys might want to sit down for this. Lightsabers exist. I saw one in my mom's closet before. And I played with it. But I never saw it again after. Where we actually are in space travel tech. Or just our reach in the solar system in general. No way they stopped making ludicrously expensive crafts. CIA propaganda manipulation techniques and the extent of their reach. The only reason we know about MK Ultra is because it didn't work. There's multinational organ harvesting organization to keep the oligarch always healthy. Some of them hidden away already reaching over 200 years old. The war between nations are only there to control population. Any person that causes deviation to the oligarch master plan always results in death or missing. Cure for cancer. Drug companies and healthcare benefits greatly from treatments. Drugs. Long term care. Funeral services and research companies. If cancer is cured then they will lose all the research money that is given by people. Companies and other government programs. Drug companies benefit the most from cancer patients. I believe if they have one they won't expose it because they're one of their big cash cows will be gone. We have drugs to sustain live to a livable standard for most things after all these decades but yet nothing for cancer but surgery. Death and some treatments that cause all these other side effects. The big pharma cancer conspiracy is dumb. If you go and ask people who work with cancer patients. Research cancer. Develop cancer treatments. And basically occupy any position capable of curing cancer. You'll find that lots of them were literally driven to those positions by the experience of seeing their favorite person die of cancer. Money is a pretty weak motivator compared to things like love, death, and anger. At some point, the pharma CEO running the cover-up will be diagnosed with cancer. How long will he keep hiding the cure? I think there is no cure for asthma because pharmaceutical companies want you to keep paying for medications just so you can breathe. I have no medical proof of this but you never hear about trying to find a cure for asthma or anything like that. I'm guessing they do the same for other things as well. Alternate sources to petrol have definitely been discovered. Or engines that can run on other alternatives. And the moment they were created they'd have been bought out by fuel companies. All those side loading washing machines that were pushed on us don't actually clean more efficiently. They just don't clean. Same with the energy efficient dryers. The true purpose of JFK's assassination. Alongside other mysterious deaths and disappearances. 
the amount of abuse and corruption that occurs across the board in positions of power. I guess this isn't a secret but humanity seems to forget quite often. There is next to no privacy in the modern age. If you're reading this, your information, search histories, shopping trends, personal connections etc. are currently being monitored and sold in the information trade. Facebook does not give a shit about your aunt's pie recipes. But they'll be the first ones to start advertising the ingredients. Humans aren't supposed to sleep all 8 hours at once. We are supposed to take several shorter rest times during the day. Industrialization and the concept of the 9-5 workday made this 8 hours rest period a reality. That there exists some concise mathematical expression that fundamentally describes reality. Like. What is the fabric of existence? Old chap? Well now. Good sir. It's Isidilla R of course. Apostrophe. I'm not sure how to word it. But like. A way of using notation to explain why math and logic and numbers and dimensions exist the way they do. It would probably be some new way of thinking about reality. Aliens. There is proof but people still think they are just a crazy tinfoil hat phenomenon. Also people frequently get the definition of alien wrong. When they hear alien. They think of weird green thing. But they are just something that we have never seen or experienced before. So to people who have never left Norway. And Australian blue ring octopus would be alien to them. But space creatures and advanced life. I believe are real. It's either that aliens exist and they know about us or that we're the aliens. Not native to earth at all. Possibly ancestors of an old Martian race who came here to escape war. Famine or another disaster that made Mars uninhabitable. Mars is long dead. But there's evidence to suggest it could have once held life. They won't ever tell us. It would cause absolute chaos if they did. Probably that everyone can become a monster or a saint and there is no such thing as nature in nature versus nurture dilemma. It's all nurture. The question should be who is keeping the secret from mankind. We are doing it to ourselves. Like take high doses of vitamin D3. It's obviously have great value to anyone looking closely. But we are so enamored of our medical profession that we can't see the obvious. Everyone is saying aliens but I don't think aliens are a secret. They are out there somewhere which is almost a mathematical fact. Also many governments including the United States have admitted very openly that there have been instances of UFO encounters around the world. Are those two things connected? Maybe not. It's entirely possible we are the most intelligent life forms in the universe or any other life form is millions of light years away. But still there are certainly aliens somewhere. That scientists have already cracked the biochemical reversal of the processes of aging. The planetary systems cannot handle a situation where people would now live 300 years in terms of space, food supply, and economy. So it's been shelved. That the lizard people secretly running the world are just as inept as we are. Damn inbred lizards think they know everything. Just because you can swallow a house cut hole does not make you fit a rule. That money is a human construct. It's just tea we made up. We don't actually need it and there's no need for it to be the foundation of all aspects of society. We do need some kind of economic system which would allow for barter and trade. But money and the power it holds over almost everyone is largely unnecessary. This planet has, or rather had, a problem. Which was this. Most of the people living on it were unhappy for pretty much of the time. Many solutions were suggested for this problem. But most of these were largely concerned with the movement of small green pieces of paper. Which was odd because on the whole it wasn't the small green pieces of paper that were unhappy. Douglas Adams. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Human History. We as modern humans have come and gone in cycles. For hundreds of thousands of years. Aliens. And craft come from inner earth caverns etx. No it's not a hollow egg. Cave systems massive. There is no grand conspiracy or grand plan or any shadow powerful order. 
everything is chaotic and random and occasionally there are people who are greatly benefited by the chaos and it's only because of confirmation bias and history being written by the winners that we think there's a thread. At best you have a government conspiracy, but worldwide? Absolutely no chance. And if you don't believe it, try project managing 10 plus people and tell them not to tell anyone else. Pigeons are literally government spies. Don't ever be friends with one. Don't feed them. Talk to them or even look at them. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Call your lawyer before contact with a pigeon. What the hell is being kept in Area 51 and all the other government run areas? And extraterrestrial life. We've had released footage of you for forever and the government tried to re-release some footage, further confirming the footage, in like April of this year. There was a podcast I listened to that had the guy who took the photo talking on it. I just want absolute confirmation on whether or not they're real. I'll be satisfied with either yes or no. I don't really care what the answer is. I just want an absolute answer. OMG the aliens. Maybe humans are cool but selfish and competitive to the point of death so they make innovations and secret military flying things? No. The more likely option is that alien races came and happened to be found by the higher ups of society. And the aliens were smart enough to progress humanity but not smart enough to realize politicians were corrupt and not smart enough to escape. Also, the aliens look like slightly deformed humans because we are the min max shape. Think. If something is up it's not going to be something so popular and crazy. It's going to be something simple but extreme. Not hyper intelligent space humanoids captured by politicians. That none of this is even real. That we are living through a multifaceted holographic projection on the 2D surface of a black hole. So that our emergent mind can be born into the ethereal plane. And understand the surroundings of meter existence. Certainly one of the biggest is Stanley Mayer's water fuel cell that he used to build a water fueled car. He was at a restaurant with his brother and two investors when he got up and ran outside saying they poisoned me and died. I heard about a Chinese guy who apparently sold some sort of eye immortality medication. Something that could stop our body to get old. And it was viable. I think that this guy said he was around 90 years old. But he looked like a 40 years old dude. I didn't really believe it was true so I just ignored it. Two days later. There wasn't any information left about it. And I never heard of this guy again. That our existence is sustainable and consistent with the actual global economics model and energy, re, sources, yes. Even solar, with just a bit higher waste recycling. All cancers are curable but pharmaceutical companies profit too much from giving you slow partial treatments that don't actually cure it. We will never get a cure for AIDS. We will only find ways to lessen the effects of it. Because medicine brings in money. And a cure doesn't after a while. The fact that the Mormon church is faked. It's based on a ton of lies and little to no truth. The church also doesn't need money. If they didn't get money. They would be fine for over a decade. One example of the church being faked is that in their Book of Mormon. It says that the earth is about a thousand years old. My family cracked this secret and left last year after being in it for over 40 years. I suggest looking all that stuff up. It's really fascinating. Psychological weapons are in use and they are used to sway your opinion subconsciously. This is how major political elections are won. Most government systems would work out just fine if not for the shameful amount of idiots uncapable of following simple's instructions, like use a mask. So now we have to idiot proof every social structure because the average middle class person is so sheltered. Stupid and have the sense of self preservation of a baby in a bear cage. Otherwise we would have death by stupid everywhere. Returning to monkeys a legit theory. That. In every country on the planet. There are groups of criminals who are clever and resourceful enough to break the law with impunity. Law enforcement and intelligence agencies, or people within them, may suspect them. Or even know in detail what they are doing. But cannot afford. For one reason or another. To take them down. Particular individuals may be taken down with luck. 
but are only replaced by different ones. That the richest and most powerful are fully aware of a global devastation coming from climate change and are prepared for it. A science student came up with a way to make rechargeable batteries that had been charged over 10 times and still hadn't started to go bad. This was a few years ago and it have not been mentioned in the news since. The true location of all the missing socks. Everyone in my house has at least a dozen single. Unmatched socks. The government must know where they are going. Is the truth too horrible for us to learn? One of the big motor companies in the USA threatened to kill a guy and his whole family unless he sold them the patent for a combustion engine that ran on water. Think about that. Edit. I would sell it to them as well. Airplane was invented by Shivka Bapuji Talpe much before than Wright Brothers but people just don't know. I have a mild conspiracy theory that a cure for cancer has been found but it'll destroy the pharmaceutical industry so the super rich and powerful are keeping it a secret from the rest of humanity. Okay. This might sound stupid to some. But possibly the actual cure for cancer. I talked to my boyfriend about this before. The cure for it. Or even one particular cancer in general. Would be absolutely priceless. Literally. So until the government. I guess. Comes to a conclusion what to do with said cure under agreement terms. It stays locked and hidden. And FCK it. Probably some UFO alien shit tool mayo. I mean who knows at this point Narcerosa. I feel like there's enough information out there for any rational person to become convinced Earth is being visited by aliens. I think some world governments know but have no idea what to do with the information. The common person's initial reaction to the subject and UFOs etc is laughter and dismissal. There is no afterlife. It shouldn't be a secret but so many infrastructures of organizations depend on this lie. If we could weed this out of societies and cultures. Mankind could flourish in amazing and comforting ways. Where to actually find those operable grocery trolleys, where the wheels in the frame aren't broken, and a clean enough public toilet stall. Hey. Someone had to say it. Health. The problem with healthcare for all are the health insurance companies. If we got rid of them healthcare would be affordable and available. They are just the middlemen.